sort. And sometimes you're mean to yourself and sometimes you're nice to yourself. Sometimes you're mean to others and sometimes you're nice to yourself. And you can tell by the way you feel what your inner being is doing. But in all of that, you are launching rockets of desire. You're pointing. You're pointing even not knowing you're pointing at a vibrational place where your inner being stands is the wrong word. Exists is a better word. Exists in awareness of what you have just pointed in that direction. And in fact, your inner being just became more because of what you pointed that away. And now your inner being in all of its non-resistance, which is to say in all of its clarity and purity and godliness, stands holding the you that you've just launched over there, even though you didn't go with it, because you're still caught up in whatever it is that caused you to ask for it. But your inner being felt it, knows it, absorbs it, and is it. And the law of attraction is now responding to your inner being's version of you. Now, those are rough words, your inner being's version of you. But go with it. Your inner being's version of you is a powerful point of attraction. And that's why once you've asked for it, if you don't point that way, you don't feel good. You cannot talk in opposition to a desire. If you really want to get in trouble with your kids, your mate, your boss or anyone talk in opposition to something you know they want you will not win against their inner being who is calling them with all of the forces of infinite intelligence the energy that creates worlds is summoning to you and so once you get the hang of that you'll become a more consistent pointer and you'll find yourself feeling a lot better that's the first manifestation. But the next thing that happens is that all kinds of evidences come to you. Sometimes in the form of an idea. Sometimes someone you don't even know will say something that you've been thinking about. Sometimes you'll turn the television on just at the moment that you'll hear something that you've been wondering about. Your timing, this is what we want you to hear. Your timing and awareness that you are meeting up with something that is a piece of the unfolding wonderfulness of your life will start occurring to you. And this is why we want that to happen to you and we want you to be aware of that. You're never going to get it done and you're never going to stop asking for more. Therefore, there's never going to be a time in all of your eternity where everything that you've ever wanted will be manifested all at once you're always going to be asking and receiving more asking and receiving more Jerry used to say you're growing or you're dying he could feel that there was always expansion going on and if you're not going along with the expansion then your honoriness is about that and about nothing else helpful extremely helpful i experienced the other day i was thinking what would i ask esther and i was thinking about finances. don't ask her anything but talk to abraham. abraham i was thinking of asking abraham a question about jerry said you need a sign on one side it says esther on the other side it says abraham as he hung around with abraham and he hung around with esther he decided the sign wasn't necessary <laughs> that it's pretty obvious because esther's mostly just looking for fun and we're always trying to guide you to clarity. Yeah. May I ask Abraham another question? Yes. So in terms of attracting prosperity and such like that, I was I had this question about You've already attracted it. I let's believe use you. A, let's use a different word, allowing it to oh, show yeah. itself yes. to you. It's already been revealed. Your realization of it is about your frequency of where you point and what you say and what you think. So I get that and I see how I'm living that and I see how my life has shifted in so yeah. many ways on that basis. And the, the question I have is about the practical, pragmatic, I should, I should have a budget, I should this, I should well, that. This is why we had the conversation that we had earlier. You can tell, you say, I want prosperity, but I should. Well, you can feel you've just opposed your own. And so what does that tell you? Well, so for me, I, groove completely with getting into the feeling and the image and you just gave me a beautiful image of my inner being really seeing the inner being of me having manifested all of the things yeah. which makes it more real for me so i'm kind of like well let's have, a, with let's have a action. prosperity conversation yeah. you talk 
Oh, I, my life is so abundant. I, I am just filled with the joy of so much energy. All right, now me. don't make stuff up. Yeah. Wait, well, wait, no, I wait, really wait, 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 wait. We know all of those things. Yeah. We're asking you to talk about the improvement that you are seeking. We're asking you to talk about yes. the improvement that you are seeking and to pay attention to whether you're really encouraging the improvement or if you're in the way of it. So talk from where you are of asking for more. Just the word want implies that you're not where you want to be. We get that. So just stream a little bit of conversation and we'll just softly talk about what you're talking about. Yeah, go. I love my beautiful home and my beautiful garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's priming the pump and that's really good. And that's a good way. But we want you to, well, it's the best start, but we want you to get to what you're talking about. In other words, you said more prosperity. You didn't say, I just want to chew on the prosperity I've already got. You said, I want more prosperity. So I got you to believe that I'm there already, but there's, I'm so satisfied with what I am and I'm so eager for more. You've been listening so to us far too much. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All the time. You're using all of our words, but, but we're having a new conversation here, aren't yeah, we? Yes. We're having a conversation where you shore something up. All of that's fluffy and accurate. We're not disputing that you mostly feel that way, but you have a want that you are not admitting to. Why are you not admitting to your want and telling the universe what you want? Why are you holding back? Is it because you feel guilty about asking? Do you think that this pie is only this big? And if you get a bite of it, somebody else won't. What is your hang up? Lack of clarity and the lack of clarity probably blah, is doubting blah, blah, that. Blah, yeah. blah. It's much more personal than that. We're not beating up on you. You do beat, like pull it out of me. I don't, I don't see this resistance. So, so let's talk about what you want. I want more money. Uh, I want. Oh, you're having a hard time. Is that stuck no, in your no, throat? No, no, no. Actually, that, there's so many things I throat? want. So I'm not much. supposed to want more money. That's greedy. <laughs> there's a lot that I want, and I'm happy to say. Don't so change the subject. Three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year in three years. I want to be an extremely successful life coach. I feel like in I project forward that I'm. That's who I am already, and I'm just living into that experience, the manifestation but of it. But you see, what happens is when you talk about what you want and you start trying to talk yourself into it, it usually points out the resistance. We're asking you what you want. Like when you go to a buffet, do you go, oh, man, I would so love to have that. Salisbury steak but I see there are only three in the pan and there are all these people in line and some of them might want some of it you don't do that you, they say it's the last one and you say save it for me save it for me save it for me save it for me I want to save it for me I want to be leading global workshops and conferences in Tony Robbins studio that's something that I want so money isn't the conversation at all is it That'll come with it. I want to be rewarded for that, but I want to actually make a difference and be an uplifter. But can you see the confusion even in it? You're not even ready to say what you want, but now you're already trying to tell the universe how it's going to bring it to you. You're trying to justify getting it. That's really what we want you to hear. Yeah, that's why I'm here to figure out what this is. You're doing really well. When you feel a need to justify how you're going to get what you get. That's when you start muddying it up. We're just asking you to say, I like more money because money feels like freedom. I like more money because money provides more choices. Well, I thought you were asking I like for specifics, though. I thought you were asking for me to be specific about what my image is of what I wanted, but I was being too vague. But that's not what you're trying to lead me to, just the feelings that well, I want? the question is, be as specific as you can be while still keeping your vibration clear. And when you get specific about stuff that isn't working, I don't know how to lead global workshops yet. I don't have that database. I don't have those people clamoring at my door. So every word you said about how you're going to do it worked against what you said you wanted. Does that make sense to you? You muddied the water with details that you're not vibrationally up to speed with. Now, ooh, this is so good. Time for a segment of refreshment. We'll start with this when we return, but this is what we want you to consider. No homework during this segment of refreshment, but this is what we want you to consider. It's the clarity of your desire 
without the justification of why you want it that you're looking for. And so this is a statement that we would like to leave you with. We've said this so many times to you before. And now we're going to say it to you in a clearer, cleaner, more precise way. I'm just going to wait for those who don't want to hear it to get out the door. <laughs> Not being snarky. There. Now we assume everybody wants to hear what we're about to say. We've been talking about the path of least resistance, the path of least resistance, the path of least resistance, the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance. Your inner being knows what you want. And your inner being also knows where your points of resistance are. And your inner being knows how to call you from where you are to where you want to be. And never does your inner being say, well, if you didn't have all that resistance in the way, you would already be over here. Because your inner being knows that always there are going to be those things that are in your way. And because your inner being has none of them, and they're not in the way of your inner being, when they are in the way of you, you can feel the uncomfortableness of it. And so this is the process. Just point with comfort, point with delight, point with ease, point at what you want, not with, I got to make it happen, not with a goal timeline, not with a project, not with a explaining it to anyone else, just statements of what you want, statements of what you want, statements of what you want with an attitude of, I don't have to explain anything to anybody. And even if I did, they wouldn't really understand. I don't have to get anybody to agree with this. I don't have to get anybody lined up. I don't have to milk my mother for money. I don't have to milk the government for money. I don't have to milk anything for money. I have a direct relationship with abundance. My inner being has already charted the course. My inner being has already gathered the cooperative components. And my inner being will guide me. I just have to stay as light and free flowing about it as I can is the what I want the feeling as opposed to the specific image you want to be as specific as you can be and still feel good so you tell us which feels better we know we're way over time which feels better this is going to vary among you around the room but think to yourself which feels better as we go through this little scenario which feels better Having more money seems like a really good idea. I like the idea of having more money. I know people that have or seem to have plenty of money. Having more money seems like freedom. Freedom is really a good feeling. I really like feeling free. I like choices. I like waking up and thinking, what do I want to do today? And as the idea occurs, I think, yeah, I think I'll go do that. I like the feeling of being able to be where I want to be and do what I want to do and eat where I want to eat and shop where I want to shop and be with who I want to be with and live where I want to live and see the parts of the world that I want to see and travel the way I want to travel and just move about the way I want to move about and dress the way I want to dress and eat the way I want to eat and buy jewelry the way I want to buy jewelry and pick out the furniture that I really like. And that rug was so gorgeous and I want to get the rug that I want to get because it's the rug that looks best in the room not because it's the cheapest room but it's the rug that looks the best in the room I love prosperity I love the freedom I love the freedom that money gives I'm, I love this earth that I live on I love all the possibilities of all the choices I love what people have created I love opening my options I love savoring I love fine wine I like good liquor I like really good dinners I like being in wonderful places. I like going to wonderful places. I like being where it's cool when it's hot. And I like being where it's warm when it's cold. And I like moving about. And I like my choices to be mine. And I want to teach that to my children. And I wish this for everyone. The more specific we got, the more it rang some of your bells. The more specific we got, the more it irritated those of you that weren't quite. But your inner being, never mind what we're doing up here with you. Your inner being knows where you are. And your inner being is not going to call you past your ability to let it in. So you want to be as specific as you can be and still feel good. This is a really good time for a segment. Of if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next